Ladies and gentlemen, this is a prime example as to why I'm glad I was homeschooled. What's up, dank homies? Meme Sage here, and I'm starting to believe that my dank homies hate me. I set up a poll for you guys to vote on the topic of our next video, and the majority of you guys voted for TikTok. I mean, why would you guys want to do that to me? I have been exposed to so much TikTok content that I, I, my faith in humanity is gone. I mean, a lot of you guys already know that I'm a strong advocate of the annual purge. I mean, one good Thanos click and I think the human race will be saved. And to be honest, by the time you're finished with this video, you might have the same thoughts. But first, let's break down TikTok at its core. Now first, what is TikTok? Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. TikTok is what you get when you put dank memes in the hands of normies. And if you don't realize exactly how bad that is, well, that's the equivalent of officers giving prisoners AK-47s so they can protect themselves. I'm pretty sure we both can agree that those prisoners are going to use those weapons for the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that bad. It's actually worse. So you guys remember a little app called Musical.ly? It was that app where people would just lip sync to music and do little funny dances or funny camera movements and sync with the music and it was, it was pretty innocent. You know, a bunch of little kids did. A bunch of kids actually got famous off of it. And it was pretty dang cringy. There was some of the bottom side of Musical.ly, of cringy kids who did cringy things or just didn't lip sync right. It, it was just pretty cringy. And before, you used to think that cringe was bad, but it, it wasn't that bad, to be honest, now that I think about it. But people thought it was pretty bad. So eventually, Musical.ly got shut down, not because of the cringe, but it just got shut down and no one knew why, but it was like, okay, Musical.ly is gone. I guess we don't have to worry about that cringe anymore. But Meme Sage, what does Musical.ly have to do with TikTok? Well, they're pretty much the same thing. In fact, they are the same thing. TikTok is advertised as being Musical.ly renamed, but little did anyone know that this would be a huge mistake because now instead of being about music, TikTok is about a perpetuating competition of who can embarrass themselves the most. But now that I think about it, is this truly a bad thing? Yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's pretty bad. It's bad. No tickbacks. It's bad. So guys, what are we going to do for this video? For this video, we're going to delve deep into the very essence of TikTok. Get your hazmat suits ready because the radiation levels from this level of cringe are dangerous. So get ready as we dive deep into the bowels of TikTok. Hold on to your lily white butts. So let's say you are a parent. You're coming home from a long day of work. You're tired and you hear music coming from the bathroom. You knock on the door and there's no response because the music is too loud. So you open the door and this is what you see. Now, after you've come to the point where you've realized how much of a failure of a parent you are, what do you say to your kid? Hey, uh, Jimmy, uh, okay, uh, <clears throat> How old are you again? Really, Dad? I, I, I'm 12 years old. Oh, 12, 12, right, right, right. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna go out and get a pack of cigarettes. I'll be back in, like, say, uh, six years. Just gonna throw this out there. You're really cute. Uh, well, you know, my mom always said I was a cute kid. <laughs> oh, a mama's boy, huh? I'll be your mommy. Ah! Now there's another feature of this app, TikTok, and that feature is collaboration. Collaboration is when you record a clip of yourself doing something to music or whatever. It doesn't make sense by itself, but then somebody else will record their half of the video and put it next to your video. Now, I'm going to have to guess that you won't always know who is making a video with you. So with that being said, you can get some pretty, um, pretty interesting collaborations. Because guess what? That girl you just called fat, she's anorexic. She has been starving herself for days. That girl you called ugly and worthless, she cuts herself. The cuts now, there's a reason why I used that specified clip. The guy you saw on the left-hand side, his name is the 
booty eating bandit. Honestly, this guy is the biggest a hole on the site, but he's honestly the best creator on the site at the same time. He is probably the king of collaborations. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven's got a plan for you. Don't you worry. Now this guy isn't the only one of his kind, but he started a wave of my favorite group of people on TikTok. These kind of people are the reason why I even installed the app. Because when you see advertisements for the app, you're expecting stuff like Hit or miss, I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya! And then instead you get stuff like To people that may be wondering, my sister crashed on a highway in Nevada getting her friend and her car lit on fire. Her fiance broke his femur and she burned and got cut and bruised. But now we have to go deeper. We have to go deeper into the essence of TikTok. And now I bring you this next class of people on TikTok, the furries. And the crazy thing is they're second on this list because they're not as cringy as they normally are. Don't get me wrong, some furries normally deserve the Thanos click, but on on TikTok, it's almost like they belong. And another thing, they're actually taking off parts of their costume. Could TikTok possibly be humanizing furries? No, no means age. No, you have been on TikTok for too long. Remember, TikTok is bad. No more. I wanna f That one hit me right in the cringe glands. Right there in the cringe gland. Oh, all right, all right. We're good, we're still alive, we're still kicking. But we must go further. Let's dive into the section, the trending section. Oh, you're with her now? Okay, I guess I'll just have to show you what you're missing. Yo, whose dad is this? He's just like, he's staring at the camera that all of a sudden titties pop in his face and he's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, okay, hey, you do you, you, you keep doing you. Now the trending section is where somebody makes a TikTok video, then everybody likes it, and then a thousand other people keep making the same exact video. If anything, it's exactly like the Kiki challenge. I mean, what if, what if we're dangerous? And I wouldn't catch you hung up on somebody that you used to know. But you didn't have to cut me off. Make out like you never. Are you starting to see a pattern here? But in all honesty. It's not that bad. I know the majority of you guys were fully expecting pure cringe, but to be honest, it's almost like TikTok is musically for 4chan. It's like TikTok is a brand new continent and 4chan are the pioneers. And all the previous cringy people that were on the site, they're getting treated like, like the Native Americans, Jesus. What would you do if I told you that I want to die? See what I mean? Everything that's extremely cringy is being countered by this collab feature. I mean, after seeing all of these brilliant collab videos, I think, I think TikTok is worth the download. No, 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 they're, they're coming back. All the, all the me. Cringy Musical.ly kids, they're coming back. Not only are they back, but they're doing the same crap as before. No, no, I had faith in TikTok. I had faith. Oh wait, no one likes them? <laughs> See, all those old Musical.ly people, they've kind of grown up a bit. So now people don't like them as much. And also, they're doing the same stuff as before I was on Musical.ly. And it ain't working. And they're not completely irrelevant, so they're still getting some views, but you know what that means? TikTok has a chance of being something good. Isn't it crazy how from the beginning of this video I had the mood of oh TikTok's evil and now I'm kind of on the side of TikTok. And just
just like that, I'm back to hating TikTok. In conclusion, I think TikTok is pretty okay. It's not like musically, it's actually pretty well balanced. With a good mix of fortune users and normies, I feel like there's a nice feng shui about this site. I mean, heck, I feel like I should jump on TikTok. Maybe I'll end up like Jake Paul. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave a like and leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you want to become part of the Dank Homie family, then go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys later. You can Peace. Don't and change, don't change, don't change. Even though life ain't the same. Say, say, don't change, don't change, don't change. Life gon' make it happen anyway. Say, don't change, don't change, don't change. Even though life ain't the same. Say, say, don't change, don't change, don't change.